Hey everyone, it's Tim, and I am here to start a brand new series on my channel. As of May 1st, I moved into my apartment a year ago, and it is now May 10th, or 11th, whatever whatever Thursday is. It, it's I think it's May 11th today, actually. But um, I have been here for a year, and when I moved in, I was actually pretty good at unpacking right away and getting rid of the clutter and the stuff that I had been hoarding and uh, you know, packing from place to place. I moved about 11 times, I think, is what I came to. 11 times in 8 years. And in that time, because I never found my forever home, I kept everything because I thought, oh, I might need this. Oh, I might need this. Oh, I might need this. And so when I moved into this apartment, if I didn't find a home for it, I got rid of it. And, you know, there's a few things, like, that I just kind of tucked away and thought, okay, I'll deal with this later. This... This is an office supply, I'll put it with all my office supplies, or this is a craft, I'll put it with all my crafts. And, you know, I haven't really gone through and decluttered that stuff yet, but, you know, a lot of the bigger appliances and things I was able to get rid of a year ago. But since I moved in a year ago, my apartment is not quite where I want it to be, and I haven't done a full apartment tour or anything, namely because my apartment's not where I want it to be. But I figured, I've been here for a year now, I signed another lease, and I want to really make this the home that I know it can be and that I've been planning on it being. And so I'm starting a new series where I'm going to kind of go by, not really by room, but by station, I guess, or area of the apartment and kind of show you a true real life before and then declutter, reorganize, repurpose, purge, all that stuff and show you an after. And so... Every time I do one of these videos, I'll just focus on one area, and it's going to be legit. Like, I, again, I work two jobs. I'm not home very often, so as a result, I end up getting a lot of to-do piles or whatnot. And the area that I've chosen to do for my first iteration in this series is my dining room. So, I will show you that in a moment. Here is my dining room. So, it's right off of the kitchen. I might shut the window if it gets really dark, but right here. So a little while ago, I, moved, I turned the table at an angle, and I really kind of liked that for a little while. But it's really just kind of a catch-all space right now. I'll just kind of show you where every, what everything is and where it's at. So I have a couple of recycling piles. These three items all need to be recycled. I have my little bar, which has a bunch of wine. And then this has just been here for a long time. I rescued this shopping cart. It is a new season shopping cart. I did not steal it from the store. I found it by the bus stop on my way home one day when I was lugging like six bags of groceries home. And so I was like, oh, what a godsend. And I put everything in the baskets and pushed it home. And my intention was to use that to walk to and from the market, which is like, you know, a 10 minute walk from my house. And I did it once and it just sits here and it then I thought oh it'll be in my bar so I have all my wine and whatnot I'm not an alcoholic I just really stocked up for my birthday party which was in December and because I don't drink very often here we are with all these bottles still so I'm probably gonna give a lot of them away as gifts over the next couple months but I'm good it's like a lifetime supply of wine and other things so this was just going to be like my bar area, and then it transitioned into my Goodwill donation pile. So I have a bunch of things that over the last six months I've just kind of thrown over here that I need to donate to Goodwill, or there's a can of paint that I'm going to give to a friend if he would ever come over and pick it up. So here we are. And then this bin I'm actually going to return to Goodwill. It was in my recent Goodwill haul video. It's $3, so I'll get a $3 credit. And that is the before of my dining room. Behold the new and improved dining room area. I was able to purge a lot. I definitely increased my Goodwill donation pile a little bit and shifted a few things around and I'll give you a quick tour. I rotated the table on a different angle than I had previously and I removed the placemats. I think I might try to find some bright ones to kind of jazz things up for the spring and the summer, but in the meantime I just removed them entirely. I think that keeping it clear and empty, especially in a smaller space, really kind of elevates it. 
I rotated the painting that my friend Amanda painted um, and made it vertical. And then I moved these three sticks in a vase from the living room into the dining room just to have something in that corner. It's a dark purple vase, you can't quite tell. Over here, I'll kind of give you a tour from the top to the bottom. That is a copper rose gold colored cake pan or baking pan that was on the Golden Girls. Um, a friend of mine gave me that for my birthday. I also have a second one right here, which is lobster. Most people don't get that, but it's a lobster. The little claws. Wow. Okay, this entire stand I got at the Goodwill for $25, and then I used Dollar Tree contact paper to reline the shelves. So it used to be a really lighter wood which was stained, and I made it darker to match the cabinets. But on the top shelf I have normally four stemless wine glasses, one of them is dirty. I kind of cleared out this bin, I used to have a few other knickknacks in here in wine utensils, but I just moved them out and moved this up from the shelf below. It's a little candle which has the same copper rose gold lid. I cleaned it out and tossed in some corks for a free decoration, and then I bought this wine opener because I loaned mine out and don't remember who I gave it to, and I loved the color, kind of matched everything else I had going on, so there we go. A shelf below, I have this really awesome simple wine, it's not really, I guess it's a decoration, but just a wine display. One of the many bottles that I have with a couple of glasses. It's just this really simple contraption. I moved this little wicker ball, it's not really wicker, but this little decoration ball down a shelf from up above. I basically swapped it out with the candle jar. These salt and pepper shakers are empty. They were actually my great grandmother's, I believe, and I inherited them. So they're very beautiful, little, just very old and vintage, and so I use them to kind of cover up this area that I missed while lining the shelf. And down below I have some more of my wine bottles. And then this, this is kind of a catch-all for wine decorations and utensils that had been up on the shelf. I do need to kind of go through and clean that out, but that'll be another project for another day. The rest of the wine I shifted into this cabinet. So I have several bottles of wine and other other alcoholy things in there. I don't really, again, I don't drink very often, so I don't need to have it out and about. But this is the updated dining room. I think it was a really great starting place for this series, and I'm excited to see how the rest of the apartment comes together. I'll do a quick insert showing you all of the Goodwill donation stuff that I have right after this. Here is all of my Goodwill donations so far. I have a bunch of dishes, like four little ones, four of the big ones, bowls to match. I also have a bunch that were either <laughs> souvenirs from my restaurant days when I would uh, take a mug from restaurants. That was like a long time ago. I had a bunch of mugs. I don't drink coffee, so I don't need all those. and I you know, have all these bowls I don't really need. I've been carrying these around for a decade thinking maybe I'd start yoga. I haven't had my mat in a long time, so I don't really need those either. I'm sure there's YouTube videos. This was like a spray paint piece that a friend made for me. It's not really my aesthetic and I've kept it around for about a decade and I'm just not gonna ever display it. And you know, it's time to Donate it and maybe someone else will find joy. A bunch of business cards I just don't need. Some random cords. A little glass teddy bear that was in my Christmas decorations. I didn't use it last year and I think I got it at Goodwill for like $2 and I just don't need it. A bunch of clothes that either don't fit or I never wore. Some, um, some pants that I bought at Goodwill wore once and they didn't fit. I was in a pinch at work and I needed black pants, so I just bought a pair. 
some curtains that were free, a crate that was free from a friend, some Dollar Tree kitchen stuff I've, I've upgraded, a few pair of shoes. So that was all that was just kind of in this corner originally. The dishes I kind of went through real quick tonight as well and pulled those out. But this is a start for getting rid of some stuff out of my apartment. I'll talk to you next time.